On August 15th, Orthodox Christians commemorate the Dormition, or falling asleep, of the Virgin Mary. The icon was inspired by holy tradition, as there is no scriptural account of her death. In the icon, physical and spiritual events are presented simultaneously, emphasizing the transcendent nature of the Dormition of the Theotokos. According to tradition, the Archangel Gabriel appeared to the Virgin Mary while she was praying at Golgotha and told her that she would enter into rest in three days. The Virgin Mary was overjoyed and she prayed and gave thanks to God that she would soon be reunited with her son. The Lord heard her prayer and gathered all of the apostles from far and wide, transporting them through the clouds to her bedside. The only one missing was Thomas. In the foreground, Paul bows reverently on the left, while Peter is sensing on the right. John, the beloved apostle who cared for Mary after Christ's death, bows in mourning near the headrest. At the moment of her passing, as proclaimed in one of the hymns, all gazed fearfully at her body and were overcome with awe, causing Peter to cry out tearfully, O Virgin, I see you clearly lying here, supine, the life of all, and I am struck with wonder. For in you did the delight of life come to make his dwelling. At this moment, the Virgin Mary's soul passed over to the spiritual realm and was reunited with her son. Christ is seen above her physical body, and yet he is invisibly present, surrounded by the uncreated light, and unseen by those physically present. He holds an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes, symbolizing the soul of the Virgin Mary being born into eternal life. Later, the apostles sang spiritual hymns and followed the funeral procession to the tomb prepared in Gethsemane. By divine providence, the apostle Thomas arrived three days later and asked if he could reverence the Virgin Mary's body once more. But to their amazement, her body was nowhere to be found when they opened her tomb. While this mysterious and miraculous event has not been formally divined as a doctrine of the Church, it has long been part of holy tradition that the Virgin Mary's body had been translated to heaven, where she resides with her son. St. Gregory Palamas offers a beautiful description of this translation, saying that the Virgin Mary was taken up directly from the grave to the heavenly realm, from where she sends bright shafts of holy light and grace down to earth, illuminating all the space around the world and is venerated, admired, and hymned by all the faithful. The icon of the Dormition of the Theotokos is usually painted on the western wall of the nave, above the central door, helping to remind us, as we exit the sanctuary, of our own exit from this world into the kingdom of God. But above all, it offers us another chance to honor the mother of the everlasting light, for it was through her that life came into the world, so that all men may have eternal life.